a royal date. The queen is perfect in peach as she's joined by dapper Prince Philip, 97, for the Royal Windsor Cup. She's been enjoying Royal Ascot all week in the company of family members, but today the queen had a very important date for an outing to the Royal Windsor Cup polo match. Her Majesty, 92, was joined by the Duke of Edinburgh, 97, who looked in remarkably good health following a hip replacement in April. The monarch looked vibrant in a peach coat with pearl buttons, worn over a floral print dress and teamed with a matching hat. She also arrived wearing a pair of dark tinted shades, believed to be shielding her eyes after a surgery to remove a cataract in May. The royal couple seemed to be in great spirits as they laughed together while taking in the action from the royal box at Edgard's Polo Club. Later, Prince Philip remained seated while Her Majesty presented prizes to the winners. The prestigious polo show, held annually, is named in Her Majesty's honor and attracts guests from society's highest echelons. The event is one of the top five polo tournaments in the world, attracting the biggest names in the game and their impressive pony power. It's the oldest tournament to take place at Guards Polo Club and Prince Philip himself has won the trophy in the past. Today marked a rare public appearance for the Duke who officially retired from public duties in August last year. The nonagenarian has kept something of a low profile since conducting his final solo public engagement in August, the last of 22,219 attended since the Queen ascended to the throne in 1952. However, he did attend the wedding of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle at Windsor Castle on May 19. Despite undergoing a hip replacement on April 4, since retiring, he has spent much of his time at Windsor, west of London, and at the Queen's private Sandringham estate in Norfolk, eastern England, with occasional visits to London. He has also been spotted carriage driving, a sport he took up in the 1970s after stopping playing polo. Although the Duke has stepped down from public duties, his roles within the royal family continue. While the Queen focuses on affairs of state, Philip is in charge of matters such as running the royal estates, and maintains a small office dealing with correspondence.